So now let's look at the single bus CPU organization. In the CPU, there is a, this single bus present uh, inside the CPU, which is internal CPU bus. And now the let's look at the organization that is built around it. We have already seen the different registers and components. So these are the different registers and components that are used in single bus CPU organization. So here you can see the program counter. You've seen the functioning of program counter as well as the instruction register IR and the code. Then we see saw the for the external memory access we have MAR, MDR registers, uh, memory address and memory buffer for data and address of regarding the memory. Then we have also seen the general purpose registers that can be used by users. There is also one temporary registers present in some organizations. Now here is the structure of the ALU. So ALU, one input of the ALU is directly connected to the bus. However, the second input is has some register in it and the, so that the first input or the one in one of the input from the ALU can be stored inside this register. And there is this MUX structure here. Now this is nothing but uh, uh, used for some constant additions during the instruction address. Remember, in some organizations, the incrementation of program counter uh, to fetch the next instruction is done by a separate adder. However, some uh, optimized organizations use the same ALU of the processor to increment the program counter. So this is the case here. The constant is going to be uh, the instruction length and the X is going to store the program counter value and for instruction fetch stage, the ALU is going to compute its next value. So these operations we are going to see later on in individual cycles. But I hope you have understood the role of the multiplexer the and the X register here. Now the Y register is used for storing the ALU result. If ALU result is directly connected to the CPU bus, it can create this loop here. So you can see this uh, loop here because the input and output can directly get connected if Y is not present. So register Y is used for this purpose to store the ALU result. So in this way, these internal CPU bus is connected to different components. And so far, we have seen the single bus organization. We are going to see its operation in each cycle of the instruction execution. So stay tuned for the further videos. Thank you.